Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here with the Peak Performance uh, Shift Spin. This is the gold key one. And the big excitement over this is that theoretically you can get up to six uh, Universal Stage 6s, I think. But your actual chance of getting that's pretty slim. And here's why. Your actual chance is based on one from finishing the event, right? You have a Universal Stage 6 within the event, but the rest are buried in these crates and it's only a 10% chance on the one crate, a 7.5% chance on the other crate. And now you understand where I'm coming from that these parts that you're supposedly going to be able to get isn't as great as you think, 3.33% on the one here. So assuming you pull through everything and you get very, very lucky, even then you may not get what you want out of this deal. Here's the thing that I don't like is that 30% chance here for this sneak legendary crate is simply three random epic fusion parts. Useless. Okay, generally they don't give you the fusion parts to cars you want. 20% for two random stage sixes. Again, useless. Your chance of actually getting that universal stage six is very low. And there's a 2% chance that you get nothing more than 500,000 cash. This is trading gold keys for a crate that doesn't give you much. But let's not keep you guys waiting. Let's start pulling keys. First spin is only two keys. Let's see what it gives us. 70 red elite token parts. All right, not bad. Okay, so we're two keys in. Now we're three keys for the second pull. 1,200 gold, very useful, okay. Now we're up to five keys. So two, three, five, this is 10 gold keys so far. Not too bad. We started with 1,099, so we'll know how many exactly we spend at the end. And of course, the rear reward gave me junk. 100,000 cash and 200 tokens. So we've already lost one crate, and that crate had, in fact, the one of the possible uh, Universal Stage 6s. So boom, lost that. All right, 28 gold keys in. What am I getting? Here's another crate, but what does the crate give us? That's the key. Uh, uh, well, all right, not too, okay, I'll take it. It's not what I wanted. This is, uh, this is useful, that is useful. But, you know, for, for such a cool looking crate, that's kind of meh, okay? All right, 10 gold key pull now. Ah, okay, all right, legendary, okay. Not painful, but painful, okay. Uh, 12 gold key pull. The gold key escalation is not horrible, but 350 gold to trade for 12 gold keys, not the best trade in my opinion. Now I'm up to 14. Now notice, we went, we already 40 keys in, 40 gold keys in, and we still got all the good rewards still coming, and it doesn't mean I'm actually gonna get the good rewards. Universal Epic Fusion, always good, okay. So three, four, we have four, but this is now 17. So now we're pulling for 17 gold keys. And notice that they just don't want to land on these, right? It keeps pushing you to land on the weaker stuff. That's typical, not to say luck can't be with me one day and I actually get something good, but today the luck is not really with me. All right, let's see what this gives me. Of course, thousand gold, thousand gold. Thousand gold. I got 3,000 gold, but I got three of the same rewards out of the thing. Hmm. Now that's actually not bad that considering that I was getting three shots at the reward. One universal stage six, I'll, I'll take it. Here's our final crate. We are now over a hundred gold keys in. And this final one's painful, three, 30 gold keys. 100. 600, and again, no universal state six because the chances are slim. So really, out of all this gold keys I just burned, and we're talking for the average free to play player, this could be a whole year's worth, if not half a year worth of collecting gold keys to get here. You just burned off a ton of gold keys for what? Next to nothing. All right, now we're looking at the silver key rev roulette, and it's the same issue here. Though there are some nice stuff, your best chance of getting is something like this. 
Doesn't mean we're not going to try to see if we can get lucky, but eh, chances are you're not getting what you necessarily want. That's the problem with these crate ideas. It's great, but it burns up a ton of your resources for what? Really very little. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. See where we end up. Again, you could get very lucky. I mean, if you're very lucky, you'll get really good rewards really fast. But the question is, are you going to be actually that lucky, right? Uh, silver keys, you're going to pull probably 500, I think. I forgot what the total was last time. I actually forgot to look at my exact total here, but I think we're already 50 keys in. Let's just keep pulling. Obviously, I could review my video later and see what the total started at, but right now I'm forgetting. Right, universal greens are actually pretty useful. I'm not complaining. But right now we haven't gotten the gold keys, universal blues. If anything, I'm getting more useful stuff out of this silver one than I did out of the gold key pole. Um, one universal stage six and some red. I mean, the red tokens, you need, it's easier to get those red tokens from showdown rather than burning tons of gold keys for it. Uh, the silver key one in, in some way is almost more worth it than the gold key one. And you can get gold keys from the silver key one. Uh, so we're, we're a few hundred keys in now. 165 is going to be a big burn. Uh, keep playing. Okay, I don't want to deliver right now. Okay, got the five gold keys. Now I'm looking at the two top prizes here. All right, fingers crossed, nothing junky. Let's let's give me some good. Of course. All right, this I don't mind. That, eh. I mean, cash is not a bad thing. I've been spending cash like crazy. I'm down 50 million cash, so I understand cash is good, but it's just not exactly what I'm looking for, right? I still rather have universal parts over anything. So we just completed the silver one as well. And here is the car. We can now deliver the car. Normally when you deliver a purple star car, they give you an opportunity to um, strip it, but they haven't been doing that for these. So now you're gonna have a unstrippable double purple star car that's gonna sit in your garage. And it's probably not gonna be very useful to you. So. Um, that's the issue. Let's go look at that car. It's a Porsche 911. Let's see if we can find it. So here's the first one I have. And here's the new one I have. And it, they're the same exact car. So you're not getting anything different other than now you have two of these that I didn't bother to build because I didn't need it before. But now I have two. So that's the problem with these silver. I really wish they would add in the ability to strip the duplicate for parts at least because having two junky purple star cars doesn't really make my day. But that is what it is. There you go. There's your both your spins, the gold key one and the silver key one. Hopefully you have better luck than I did. But again, that's what these are. They're meant to burn your resources and get your hopes up. Just like when you go to the casinos and you lose all your money. It's the same concept, except you're losing hard to come resources, hard to come by resources in CSR2. I hope you enjoyed uh, that video. If you do, leave a like, uh, share it with your friends. If you like my channel and like this kind of videos, subscribe, hit the bell, and you get notified when I put up new videos. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.